What's happening guys? Silent Mike, something a little bit different today for you guys. For those that don't know, I've come together with my man, my homie, Omar Yusuf, and we've created Mama's Boys Podcast, our new podcast that's kind of raw, conversational, open topic podcast with some of our friends and ourselves, letting you have a little bit deeper view of the things that we're into, hot topics, whatever comes to mind. It's a raw conversation of Just Some Homies chatting. We're releasing new podcasts every Tuesday and Friday on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and mamasboyspodcast.com. I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. We're having a lot of fun building this new project and trying to improve ourselves as communicators on a podcast. We've upgraded our equipment. We're really trying to make this one of our best projects, some of our favorite content we've ever created. So do me a favor, check it out on your favorite platform. Again, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, mamasboyspodcast.com. Go ahead and subscribe. I don't think you'll be disappointed. And if you really want to help us out, I would appreciate it. Give us a rating and review. Right now, we got a highlight episode of me and Omar just chatting about a bunch of BS stuff that pops into our head. You can also search Mama's Boys Podcast on YouTube. Again, appreciate every subscription. All the feedback so far has been amazing, and we're really excited to continue this new project and share some of this content with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. I drink black uh, coffee. Yeah. Where's that information from? Facebook. Podcast. So you base all your information from Facebook. Are you saying fake news? I'm not saying fake news. I'm just saying that's probably the worst source of information. You said that black coffee, those that drink it are more likely to be psychopaths. You know what else I just learned about? You know correlation does not imply causation. You know what I just learned about? What up, Pim? ASMR. Okay, go on. So, Rant. Right now. So what? what? Yeah, that's yeah, what so I'm doing. Me, listen, hold on, let me, listen, hey, everybody, uh, if you're driving, close your eyes. If you're at home, turn the lights off. If you got a speaker, put it next to your bowls. We're just going to do this for another 45 minutes. So what do you think about it, Mike? So. Have you used it? I'm a. Uh, started Twitch about like a month ago. You sound like you have a lot of things in your mouth. Let me just say that. That's what the ASMR is. So I started Twitch about a month ago. And it's probably one of the. Actually, not really. I wish I was. Promoting more, your Twitch again on this. Yeah, I wish I was more prepared uh, in life. But I started the first podcast I was on, uh, whatever, four years ago. Uh, I started a podcast without knowing what a podcast was yeah. and ended up being just fine. Uh, this one I know a little bit more uh, since I've been podcasting for a while. But YouTube, I watched YouTube. I did a little bit of market research, if you want to call it, even though it's not that serious before I did it. Twitch, I had no clue what Twitch was. I've never watched anyone's stream. Sorry to everybody out there until I started it myself. But now I started to get into it. So uh, people are all about the IRL on there, lifting weights, cooking, whatever. So I started to hunt down that and obviously a lot of girls are on there and they get a lot more views than the guys do uh, because it's a visual platform but there's something called ASMR and, and this is definitely not the first thing that I've had to freaking Google all the time. I'm old and bad at technology so I've had to, I had to get, uh, Google with TFTI. I had to Google uh, was it SMH? Yeah. Shaking my head. Shake I had to Google a lot of these things in the past uh, and I Googled it. I still don't know what it is. What I thought though, it's not it's not the person doing it, right? You're watching it because they're doing it you're to you? You're listening to it. You're they're listen- doing it no, for us or bro, they're doing it for themselves. Okay, so I don't know a lot about ASMR. Are you Googling it? Right now. Yeah, give but, us a, like a real right. definition. Uh, autonomous sensory meridian response. ASMR is a term used for an experience characterized by a static-like or tingling sensation on the skin that typically begins on the scalp and, uh, scalp and moves down the back of the neck and upper spine. So here's the thing. I know some individuals use ASMR either to fall asleep or uh, something of that nature. So it's not it was, it's not video, it's audio. I which thought it is was why. sexual. No, it doesn't have to be. Oh, the, the definition I found it might have been Urban Dictionary or something. <sighs> you have the worst sources. So, but for, it, okay, so ASMR first he said, is like a, you, know, you know, black coffee, uh, they find those who drink black coffee. No, are more I said I read. Psychopaths. I didn't You're say right. they find. But that, so I think, I that's think, different. I think that's sh- not that should be illegal, but once again, when you self police, you have to be able to call things out. Of course. If someone says black coffee, those that drink it are more likely to be psychopaths. That tells you A, nothing. B, many cultures drink coffee without flavoring yeah, that's it anyway. Why, so milk, sugar, <clears throat> How hundreds I, of millions of people. How I present it to uh, either you yeah. on a podcast or you yeah. not on a podcast would represent my belief in it. 
Yeah. From my source. So yeah. I said, no. oh, I heard. Of course. Then that means it's probably Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or a real source. But if I said, yeah. oh, dude, did you hear that this is going yeah. on? Or that block coffee is tied to or uh, something like that. Or I obviously noted a source. Then it's more serious. You know but what I just we, said, yeah. I hear. You know what we call that though, Mike? Rumor. We call that the soundbite generation, sure. which we are part of. Yeah. Which is that this piece of information is actually incorrect. Th- flat this entire incorrect, podcast. And it's being shared around. Uh, and then it becomes dangerous. I would say that, so like uh, going back to Nassim Tlaib, he talks about an aphorism is something where it's a single sentence that holds a lot of power within it. So I don't think a motivational quote, it could be something that just contains more than the sum of its words. So some sort of advice that means a lot more than one sentence. A soundbite is something that when you examine it, it's actually hollow because there's no support and evidence. So saying sure. something like, so saying something like, uh, those that drink black coffee are more likely to be psychopaths. Yeah, I didn't want to d- d- I, and break I, no, and cut I, it up. I, it's just I, a Mike, thing. Like I people it, say bro. that uh, if you bite your nails, you have anxiety, or if you right. like, there's probably a correlation. Uh, yeah. Again, yeah, of course not causation either way. Um, yeah. Or, or whatever. Yeah, same thing. People say, I don't know what, but there's tons of shit like that. But yeah. my point with ASMR is, it's like a cultural. It's a new thing, kind of, yeah? Uh, I think it's been around for a little bit. I know a few people that actually have used ASMR. So Urban Dictionary, I would never trust for so, definition because so, it's user submitted and usually it's supposed to be pretty funny. So that's why I thought Urban Dictionary would be uh, on par because I thought it was a Twitch thing. Oh, okay. So that's why I went to a source of that nature. If I was yep. looking for it, I would go to a dictionary or Webster.com. Yeah, so I think it's something that uh, has been studied some individuals, maybe they find it either pleasurable or relaxing is the other thing. So uh, I've seen videos where people are doing a simula- uh, simulation. So there'd be something like going to a dentist's office, pretending like they're getting their gums checked and they could fall asleep to that. Yeah. So it could be some sort of form of white noise. I think we need oh. to research this a lot yeah, more before no, we talk no, about we're, it. No, we're not, we're not presenting this to the world. No, no, we no, can no. talk about it plenty. So what right. I read was it was like, and it made sense once they, sense once they started to talk about it being uh, like a different form or uh, whatever of orgasm uh, because like, like uh, being like tickled on the neck or like a head rub, you'll get like goosebumps. Yeah. That's what I likened it to. And then sure, if someone's more sensitive or something, maybe they're having a yeah. freaking, maybe they're getting a little cum shot action yeah. uh, by being big. But then so I, 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 saw I don't know what your definition you got from Mike. I'm just saying because I pulled up yeah, Urban you? Dictionary. I pulled up oh, Urban Dictionary yeah, yeah. for you. As, it doesn't ASMR, say anything about uh, like the any top, type of orgasm. No, the top comment it says the sole purpose of ASMR is to relax people. <laughs> oh yeah, that, I don't yeah, know. What, you're I don't like, know what so I read. you come, you this, you that. So maybe I went here, to uh, Pornhub. Examples. Pornhub. Yeah. Yeah. Com here are slash. some examples: gentle whispering, relaxing hand movements, smack of the lips, nail tapping, scratching on hard surfaces such as tables, brushing so sounds. Yeah, it's it's that idea where you get that tingle. You know, sometimes. So for me when I listen sometimes to music of hair stand up on the yeah, back yeah. of my neck. They said it's meant to give the viewer a relaxing tingle on the back of their head and or spine. And so an ASMR video usually involves one or more of the following and I list some of those. The whispering, yeah. uh, the smack of the lips. Sometimes it is a simulation. So again, like going to a doctor's office, a dentist's office. So I just turn everything into sex. Yeah, and what, is that, uh, what does that say about you, That buddy? means that I drink black coffee and I'm a psychopath. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, let me ask you this, Mike. Hit me. For yourself, you mentioned... About sex. Uh, is I didn't some, mention anything about sex. Is that something sex. you think about often? ASMR? No. No, I just sex, learned. I said. Oh, yeah. What's okay. that? Here's another about fucking. Going king. Here's, going a, king. here's another shit fact for you. That, oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, they say that like the average male thinks about sex every like half an hour and the yeah. average female thinks about every 24 hours or something. Yeah, that can't even be close to being true. I, I know, but yeah. I, I heard that well before Facebook. So we're thinking about doinking right now as we're doing this podcast. Well, when I stare into your eyes. <laughs> wow. I, I was going to say ASMR, so it is for relaxing people. I have heard people use it. I haven't tried it myself because I find, for me, perfect. reading is probably yeah, is the best thing sound? that you can do. Is this feel good? We're about to get flagged and taken down from my How's, how's the hair on the back What would you neck? do if you found out you made one video and it crushed it? ASMR? For you. for you. I feel then you would just change everything into an ASMR channel. Like you just... Just go, Here I am squatting 405. Some people have become big on uh, YouTube just, again, ASMR? from ASMR. I'm yeah. talking hundreds of thousands the, of subscribers. The Twitch, uh, maybe it's just my head putting two and two because I didn't watch the stream for longer than a minute. And so I saw like a pretty girl like whispering like that. And then she had like two microphones she was like yeah. playing with. And then that's why I just thought like, this so is you're, weird. You're sexual, bro. Yeah, well, that's yeah. why I left. I was like, this is weird. There's a bunch of other dudes just watching this yeah. getting off. I'm uh, out. I'm out. So from something relaxing to something horrifying, are you familiar <laughs> with something known as the Doomsday Clock? Yeah, the video game Doom and then The Rock was in the movie? 
So bad, Mike. Not so even bad. Close. Yeah, I'm not even giving <laughs> All right, that continue. one. So the doomsday clock is a bunch of scientists. They set up a clock to represent where they felt or how close we were to the end of humanity via nuclear war or some sort of catastrophe Whatever, happening. Yeah. Man-made uh, would be the one. So the doomsday clock, I don't no. think they take into account natural disasters. Oh. So let's say an asteroid coming into play. Yeah. And we could talk about that after. Because there's a lot of uh, people that... You know, uh, we're not going to go into it because fuck, these, uh, fuck this conversation, but uh, global warming or whatever it might be, but an yeah. ice age rotation or just a, a natural yeah. rotation every 200 million years and that we might be on the cusp of some of that, but continue. Yeah.